So I couldn't resist doing another desert house tutorial because of bamboo. Doesn't it look absolutely fantastic in conjunction with these sandstone blocks? So this little house has an entrance here into quite a spacious room indeed. And then you can go up this ladder and you'll find a room up here as well with a little balcony across. And then you can even fire up onto the roof for an excellent view around and then back through here you've got a little walkway over to a dining area again with great views all the way around and if you want to you can climb down these stairs or go back up them for a nice little chill area here as well and underneath the stairs your little workshop area you could put some furnaces maybe some more crafting tables can you have too many of them? I'm not sure. And a cute little well should act like an infinite water source. If it doesn't, you could change it into one that does. So there we go. How do we build it? First of all, let's take off shaders just to make it a little bit easier to see what we're doing. Doesn't it look plain without shaders on? You're going to need to lay out the first layer just like this but it's a little difficult to see exactly what I've done as you can see some of the blocks are sand some of the blocks are cut sandstone so how do we get this built well we're going to need to lay out the very first layer and it's a little bit complicated grass sand smooth sandstone cobblestone oak um, quite tricky and we've got smooth sandstone slabs as well so how do we get this laid out how can i convey that information i've made a little key i have done this so what do we have here so we've got the lapis blocks are sand just normal sand grass blocks and oak planks we've got there pretty easy the gold blocks are cut sandstone cut sandstone and these blocks down here the smooth polished andesite slabs that and they are going to be in fact smooth sandstone slabs so the whole thing should end up looking a little bit like this once you have got all that laid out so follow the diagram if you like you can look in the description of the video and there'll be a link to that picture and you can follow it so once you have used my diagram to lay it out just like this, we can get started. Let's start over here. So smooth sandstone right in these corners. You should find that there are five block spaces in between those, if you've done them correct. We can put a little bit of birch stairage at the back here, a little bit of a seat, and then cover the back of the seat with some... Oh, one of my favorite blocks now, the bamboo trapdoor. Absolutely love it. Let's start the staircase right here with some stairs and some blocks of more smooth sandstone. There's going to be a window right here. So we need to count along two blocks of oak planks there and then just fill in that gap there with some smooth sandstone. And that smooth sandstone kind of brings itself around the corner here but we do need to put in a few more windows so where exactly are these hmm. so these are going to be let's see so one two three so one two three ah so here is going to be a window and there and also there is going to be a window with some smooth sandstone blocks in between now we are going to need um normal blocks of sandstone as well for this uh, next little section in fact what we do is we just come around here like that and a little detail if you want it is to go for sandstone stairs just there because what we're actually doing is this little bit here and what i've done is i've made this entire kind of three by three tower i've made it out of just normal sandstone so it's the tiniest of details right there to get right otherwise it's back to smooth sandstone land covering up your cobblestone or whatever cheap block you have used and there we go we are progressing with our first level we are also going to get some of this cut sandstone and miss out two blocks just here <laughs> and place a block there there we go perfect so that's going to be our little 
porch area and we also want one let's get this exactly right yeah we want one right there as well and that is really helping us get this bottom layer done a well rotate your staircases like that and that is going to be the first layer of our little garden well there we go so is there anything else to do here yeah a couple of blocks over here are these going to be sand yeah i think this is going to be just some four blocks of sand one two three four like that there will be some more sand lying about later on but we can do that later that's why it's later on right oh one more window to put in one more window so let's grab smooth sandstone stairs and we're going to put a little window there so above that it's going to be our window that is looking yeah i think we have finished layer one so the next bit we're going to do is this whole section right here i love this archway i think it looks absolutely fantastic so grab the ingredients that are here in my hot bar i'm going to add five of these beautiful smooth sandstones one two three four five 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 and then above that we're going to go for um chiseled in the corners beautiful chiseled sandstone right there love that block and then uh fill in these little gaps here and then we could start on our little archway so we want to put in some corners like that like that there we go Let's get in there and then oh we need to go for this block here hmm. this block here which is smooth sandstone stairs these are going to go underneath like this like that there we go um next we want to put in in the middle hanging down a little upper slab and then just fill in these gaps here i think this was the easiest way of doing it with some more smooth sandstone just like that and that creates these little archways i think it looks absolutely fantastic actually okay um got some spruce fences for a little bit of detail these you could hang lanterns from i think i hang a lantern from that one and that one but none of the other ones for some reason i notice how i haven't done these ones on the back hmm not much detail on the back of this build. It would look good actually backed into a mountain or a hillside as well. So that's an option for you. Here are some smooth, no, they're not smooth. They're just ordinary spruce buttons. There we go, like that. And again, I'm just missing the detail out from the back. Bamboo trap doors need to go like that. So they're a little bit awkward to place. So sometimes I like doing this in creative mode. I can just fly, so it's not too bad. And then same here. Get rid of you. There we go. It's looking decent, I think. Uh, let's put the oak slab up here. It's going to be our little floor. And then right underneath in the middle, I usually add one block and add in a lantern that just lights things up down below. And in shaders, that really, really, really helps to add that little bit of light, creating lots of awesome shadows. Something else you could do if you want would be to add in these corner blocks as an option. I didn't do that in the prototype, but looking at that now, I think that really balances off that middle section. Anyway, let's get rid of those pesky shaders and have a look at what i did over here ah so <laughs> okay have you memorized it <laughs> we need to add in uh, in the middle another one of these awesome blocks and then what have we got We've got spruce fences no we haven't we've got more of these trap doors for some reason i've put them flush so let's just do that you could of course put them like that and get rid of these and that's probably slightly better i think i'm going to go for that and then spruce fences a couple of them boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. like that and as you can see i've put a whole bunch of campfires up on top 
and I have added in a couple of lanterns. So that is pretty straightforward. I'll be right back when all the campfires are onto this little roof section. That is complete and it looks decent. Now we're going to do this little staircase here. So what we want to do is build up these four blocks and keep on going all the way up until you're at that sort of level there, right? That's going to be the same level as this little walkway coming across. And we want to continue our stairs going up the way. So let's continue with the staircase rising. When we get to this stage, we are going to make a little alcove here for our little workshop. And it ends up being so cute in there. Keep the stairs going up. Four solid blocks here. And then more stairs solid blocks and the stairs should lead us up to this little section here so that should be that complete behind that um, we do have a lot of these smooth sandstone blocks to put in optional window i suppose at the back in your workshop if you wanted a bit more light in here you could make that a little window if you wanted i didn't bother but you could if you wished a uh, little bit of a workshop shelf here i won't prescribe this too much this is really up to you what you put in here this is your workshop after all there's a few little suggestions but there we go that is our staircase up to the next level next we're going to do this tower it is kind of an individual part of the build and i've built it out of sandstone you may want to mix up the entire build to make it out of sandstone and smooth sandstone i just prefer it all smooth and then having these bits in one section but that is down to your taste as you build this so this tower is over here so let's build um this whole side of it first of all what we want to do is add on 13 blocks of sandstone here onto this block so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 like so and in the middle as well this one here is going to become a little window in the top and what we want to do is make another window down here it's going to have some bamboo trap doors three of them in it just like that with a smooth sorry just an ordinary sandstone stair above and then this side can come up like that there we go now we can flip round to this side and give this one a go so let's add on two blocks there and go for a sandstone stair block just like that and then we want to just increase up here like that until we get to this level right here and then we'll add on another two blocks so we've got one two three four blocks sitting on top of this sandstone stair okay and in fact this can go all the way up to the top where we're going to be having the same sort of thing the same sort of little window like that so we do have these little windows which i love little arrow arrow slit windows so that is sandstone stairs the right way up and upside down and then turn it like that it should, should look something like so and then round on hmm. this side is a bit more tricky uh, that side is pretty pretty straightforward okay let's start here actually so one below that window we're just going to bring that round like that and just bring that up and again that becomes a window this becomes a little window at the top of the tower as well there we are so we are going to have um you know there's going to be slabs across here so we will be standing in there basically to go up and down this tower so that means hmm, let me just check this if we're going to be standing at this level we can fill in these blocks quite safely as well like that there we go 
Cool. The very top of the tower has a simple run of spruce slabs all the way around. You might want to do a fancier tower than me. I know if Saracen was building with me, she would do a much fancier job than that. But I, I, I do like that quite plain effort there. So how are we doing with this tower? Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I want to do of that tower just now. It's kind of hanging on and floating a bit there, waiting for some more bits of this whole place to be built. Let's have a look on the inside. Yeah, it really does sort of hang and just sort of float there and wait for the rest of this place to be built. We're going to be looking at this back L-shaped back wall here. So what we want to do is build it up as far as this to give us kind of a, a stage to get to. So just keep on building up, ignoring the windows. So in total, it should be one with our chiseled, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not chiseled, it's cut, isn't it? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven high in total. Just building up this back wall. Let's put in our windows. They're going to be triple bamboos. Looks good from the outside. From the inside, it's a little bit flat. A little bit flat from the inside, but I prefer my buildings to look good on the outside than on the inside. Upside down stairs on top of the windows. One more window here. And then that goes in there like so. Now, what I have also done on this build is add in some more of these buttons. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five with the spruce. One, two, three, four, five with the spruce on the back there like that. Yeah, looking pretty decent. So what we want to do now is this... Um, front wall, this front wall here, which has got a little bit of a window in it. Oh, it also has these. These are quite sneaky. So one, two, three, four levels of them. Let's get them done first. So one, two, three, four. And then it's upside down, smooth sandstone stairs facing away. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that is one, two, three, four levels done. The rest of this just kind of builds itself, really. Bring it up again all the way to this level. And in here, too. And we're all at the same level as the stairs, aren't we? Like that. Uh, another window for here. We'll go for triple, triple bamboo. I believe that's what I did. A triple bamboo. I'll just double check. See, I've gone for a double bamboo for no reason. <laughs> it's up to you guys, but uh, maybe a little bit of a smaller window looks quite good there in the side. The entrance to this build does need to get finished, so we put on that and then fill in the gaps here with some more smooth sandstone. And there we are. Looking decent. Right, so now it is over to Oak Slab Land. And let's just double check that these just go in and hold everything up. Yeah, so I've just put them put them right across. Let's grab a ladder while we're here. Oak Slabs. <laughs> See, that is looking different to what I did over there. Can I just double check again? This is the most complicated part of this build. No, I think we're fine. I think we're good. We are good. It's all looking good. Do, do, do. Yeah, fill this in. This is the floor. Notice I'm doing these upper oak slabs. You could use planks, full planks if you want. I just like to have the extra head room down below. Oi! Get placed. The ladder goes right here in the corner and that gets us right up this tower as well if we want to and also it gets us to this level, the most important level up here. I 
I don't know why I did this ladder here and just didn't... Do you know what? I think I'm going to change this build. What is the point? What is the point in that? Let's get rid of that ladder, right? Continue this up the tower and just come out here. Would that not make... That not make a bit of sense? Just come out here. That's better. That is just better, better. I know what block we can grab. Let's grab this sandstone stair and plunk it there. And then if you wanted, you could put a door here as well. But this is this is fine. This is this is an improvement. We're at this level. Much better. There we go. Much, much better. So uh, we continue this ladder up. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So, pretty good progress so far. What should we pick off next? Maybe we'll tackle the front of this build. Complete our little front entrance portico. Call it what you will. We're going to grab smooth sandstone. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. And on top of them, we'll slap on some of this beautiful chiseled sandstone. And then we want to start on these things. This is going to be our little archway. And they start with pretty much in the same place. Miss out those two blocks and add these ones like so. And in fact, we can come around here and do that uh, as well. So this comes across. One, two, one, two. And then it's an upper slab. It's this block has to be exactly the same like that creates that exact same archway there as we have over there. I love that attention to detail. Zip that up there like that. And again, another archway exactly the same on the other side. Like that. So you've got a cool way of getting into this place in sort of different, different directions. By the way, the door just goes from zero to hero with these beautiful bamboo trap doors and then what you want to do is put in a door right here as well like that that is going to be your door there uh up here we need some more of these oak slabs like that decent 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 and then we want bamboo. Four of these bamboo trapdoors. One, two, three, four, five. When I say four, I mean five. Do, 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 do. And then over here. Adds a little bit of depth. I mean, you could do them like that. If you think that looks better, then go ahead. I just like the extra little, sort of little bit of depth in the build, like so. What I have done uh, over here is add in a lot of campfires as well. So we're going to need some of these spruce fence gates to hold everything up. And also some lanterns and chains as well. And you notice I've put a little lantern sneaky under there. So let's go and do that. So oak slab just to light up this little porch area here like that and then we've got these so these are simple spruce gates sticking out there like that i think i did one here as well is it too wide didn't bother i didn't bother you could bother are you bothered i'm bothered i did it okay and then here as well one and two and then Oops, just the one single block there. Right, this is going to be an almighty a bunch of fire made here. These campfires, love campfires. Do, 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 do. You can tell I'm a creative player. You give creative player a, a useful block like a campfire, he or she will make just about anything but a campfire out of them. There we are. 
That is looking pretty decent. So what have we got left to do? We've got this upper story of water butt. We've got this little bridge and a covering and a few windows to do. So progress is good. Okay, this is a pretty easy finish. We're going to go up one, two, three. Let's mark in the corners first of all. Like that. Uh, let's get the back wall done. Super easy. We're going to mark in some windows. So, hmm, where are they going to be? They're going to be three windows like that. Yeah, actually centered, aren't they? They're absolutely completely centered windows and I've gone for this little kind of shape where you put on the the bamboo trapdoors like that and it ends up looking like little shutters as well and grab a bamboo fence and just slap them in there like that so a little bit of a different window from down below okay so this wall here what we want to do is have a nice couple of windows in this wall uh, as well. But we also want this wall coming across. The door is going to be there. That's going to be built up. Built up. Hmm. Where's the best place for these windows? You could do them maybe there and there. Which would put them right above those windows. I think I like that. I didn't do that over here. I put them offset by one. But I think... I think this is okay, especially since I moved that. Yeah, I moved that ladder, didn't I? So I think I like that. That's pretty good. So again, little shutters on the bamboo looks so cool. That's that done. Uh, we've got a wall over here to do. Do, 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 do. And we have a door right here. Bamboo door, of course. So that was pretty easy, right? Nothing complicated about that so far. Uh, over here we've got a double door. Double door. Sounds like a character out of Harry Potter, doesn't it? Double door. Uh, here is going to be a little window. So we're going to need you just there. Like that. And that's going to be a little bamboo window. Like that. Pretty straightforward. Uh, here we'll go for double upside down sandstone stairs. And that marks in our double bamboo door. Up top, we're going to go for chiseled all the way around. And of course, this links through into here as well. I might just take that block off. I think that's a bit better, isn't it? But what I will do is put an upside down one there and an optional little door into that one. Just a little bit of privacy from this staircase. Ah, yeah, we still haven't done the bit where we go on, up on top, have we? Um, up on top, talking of which, we're going to add in these alternate blocks of smooth sandstone. Pretty much all the way around. Works out nicely. And then in between, a bit of a, a battle, battlement top to this build. Does look pretty smart. Oak slabs complete the look and they go right here upper oak slabs on the chiseled area and so this is where I want to mark in my what my uh, my doorway here and I grabbed this block didn't I that was an improvement like that and again you could put a door uh, in there oops in there if you wish probably not going to bother putting a door there because it is right up on top of the build. Um, I do have a big butt and I'd like to show you it. There it is. That is the beginning of my water butt. Can you imagine all the, 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 the weird things I've said in videos over the years? If someone made a, a, like a compilation, maybe I shouldn't suggest things which are not a good idea. How you fill that with water? That is your problem. <laughs> I'm not going to bother. You can do it. You could do it. I know you can. Uh, we do need a little walkway across. So these are going to be made of awesome spruce trap doors. And I think I put a trap door there as well if i remember and then we're going to get really really busy with bamboo trap doors like 
like that. These ones, I do believe I put on the outside. Let me just double check. Oh, we need to grab some campfires while we're here. Yep, so these are going to come across. There we go. Looking pretty smart. So the campfires, uh, yeah, they come across, um, oops, like this. Let's have mine all facing the same way. So it's a row of three campfires, I believe. It just looks like that. And let's extinguish these. Um, more. Oh, yeah. The reason I did that is I can do that as an optional. I don't know. Is that too small a gap? I think that's fine, right? And then over here, again, what you want to do is have more bamboo trap doors but you know sticking out by one and that means you can actually put things up here can't you you can put chests and candles and pots and whatnot up there so is that us complete it really is down to you guys to furnish this and make it look pretty smart i am definitely going to cover this section here up at the back don't need you, do I? Look at that. It is awesome. Yeah, I reckon that is the whole build finished. I am. Um, oh, we haven't done the well. We haven't done the well. So the well is simply spruce stairs and we've got some birch fence. Da, 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 da. So one. Is it one or two? It's two, right? Two birch fences. Two birch fences. I knew that. Do, do, do. Oh, we have an awning to do. I forgot. We have a little awning to do. You can hang a lantern from this as well if you want to light up your water. Yeah, we have a little awning to do in there. So here is this awning. It's pretty easy. Let me very quickly show you roughly what I have done. So right here, this... Is it that level, though? One, two, three. I think it's on the fourth block up. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Fourth block up. So that is too high. Easy to mistake to make. Good to show you that though. Oops. One, two, three. One, oops. One, two, three. Ah, this middle one, can you make it a spruce fence and that way you can hang a lantern from it and all I've done is run trap doors like that and then can I it's maybe carrying a little bit of holiday weight there you can also run trap doors like this so it's kind of upper trap doors and that is simply where the um, the carpet sits so the carpet would just go on like that you can sit happily on top of bamboo or they can sit on top of the gates or fence posts and you would do that all the way along and that is it complete let me show you some of the detail that i have added so definitely want to add some leaves going through the campfires love that um definitely want to add some tables and chairs up here hang some lanterns down from the campfires as well these pots look absolutely fantastic so include plenty of decorated pots don't forget you can put a pot in a pot a little pot in a big pot and add in a flower the torch flowers look magnificent barrels carpets add a bit of detail as well if you want this to hold up the bamboo trapdoors you can do that here's the workshop fleshed out with extra Flavorings? No, that's not wrong. Not wrong word. Details as well. Something else you could do if you wanted. You could add another level to the awning like that, <clears throat> all the way around. That does look pretty smart. So that's kind of an optional extra for you. Don't forget uh, more plants, pots glowberries lanterns hanging down with chains i probably didn't do that some banners at the front door brighten things up a little bit of grass beside the i was going to say swimming pool <laughs> that would be strange and you can decorate with a few 
buttons as well. I forgot to put in a couple of buttons, something like that. Looks kind of half decent, doesn't it, as well. A few buttons kicking around, and that is our build complete. Let's switch back on shaders. Give you the full force of what it would look like in Java edition with uh, these awesome shaders as well. Look at that. Quick fly round and we are finished. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you don't want to build it, you can download it from my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Andy is Yoda, including everything I've been building for the last four or five years. Maps, schematics, and more. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao. The blocks be with you.